Hey Ping friends, uh, today's video, I have a packing video for you. I got an order first thing uh, Monday morning. This is for Sasicha. Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly, but you've ordered several pings for me and I'm very thankful for it. So let's get a packing. All right, so first thing I will do is I will look at my order to see what sh just what she's ordered. She has ordered one, two, three, four, five pings from me. We got a Gigantia Cyclosecta, three Lilac Lollipops, and a Morinensis J. All right, so let's grab this. I think uh, one of them is already pre-potted. So typically I'll kind of come over here to my shelves. All right, this should be it. Yep. Gigantia Cyclosecta. Put this on down here. And then for the other ones, got my, from a tray. This is where I have my Lilac Lollipops. Uh, number two, number four, number one. So these are all in this tray. Number one's right there. I believe number two and then probably four. So what I typically do is because uh, I just need to double check which ones and I'll just kind of uh, take them out. So there's that one and then come around here to my left. I got Morinensis J. Right here. So what I'll do is I'll look at my product listing just to double check to make sure I'm picking uh, the right ping. I don't remember exactly, you know, every time I kind of place or like number uh, my, my pings, but this is just to double check and confirm. I think I was close, close to being correct. So I'll take, a, I have kind of like these smaller trays. And so like for each of the smaller trays, I will use it kind of like per order just so I can keep it organized for myself. And then what I'll do is I will take it out, take the ping out. I try to remove as much substrate as I can from it because I do ship uh, bare roots. Customers can request a pot, a pre-potted mix that they like. So there's one. So you got one, two, and four. There's a little bit too much mix. Just kind of bring it over here to another tray. I can just take off all of the substrates as much as much as I can. I try to be very careful with the, the roots. Just kind of like take the substrate off, place it down. I can definitely tell these pings are pretty healthy. Great root system still. And I'll get this packed up. Okay, so she has that. And then let me slide this one out. Slide this one in. So she also picked up a Morinensis J. This is actually one of my pre-potted ones. Fifth ping to pick up. Oh, if I don't trip over myself. We got right here, Morinensis J. So I just kind of keep the full order in a tray. Every order gets its own tray, so just so I know what to pack. And that's it. So here's your order right here. Uh, Gigantia, Cyclosecta, Mornitzis J, three, three Lilac Lollipops. I believe you also got like a heat pack, so I'll do that. So next up, we got to uh, make some plant tags. Got to make some uh, tags for this. Oh, and then also before I forget, let me just kind of swing over here to my tray. I typically do include like a little gift in my orders. 
So right here, I am going to include, also with uh, your purchase, a LRSAA Mighty Mouse. This one looks very good. See, gets it all plucked out. Let's put this on the tray and let's get you uh, some plant eggs. All right, let me just kind of set this up right here. I got my iPad in front of me here. I'm wondering how I, um, so right down uh, below, I got a, it's like a D30 thermal uh, printer. So that's where my, uh, my stickers come out for my plant tags. And this is the app that I use, it's the Printmaster. And now I got to find, what do we have here? I got one LRSA Mighty Mouse. Let's get one of those labels. Oh, literally as I just dropped everything. It's LRSA Mighty Mouse. And then I have three lilac lollipops to print out. Where are you? Okay. Lilac lollipop. Okay, great. Got the three labels printed up right now. Perfect. Once that's all done, I am all done with that app. That's it for my iPad. So now we have to label up. Right here at my desk, I got uh, my plant tags itself. Put on the sticker. All right, once we got the plant tags, plant tags will now just kind of be put in the put in the tray, and we are off to packing. Gotta get, get a packing. So right here is uh, my uh, packing materials. Got some condiment cups. That's primarily how I pack all my pings is within these condiment cups. The lilac lollipops, they're fairly on the smaller side so I can get some of the two ounce, two ounce condiment cups uh, right there. Oh, I need a fourth one for the gift. And then I look at the size of like the others. I believe for the Mornensis, I got a slightly bigger uh, condiment cup. Typically what I do is just kind of hold it up like right next to it. Does it fit? We got that one. I'm a little iffy on this uh, Gigantia Cyclosecta just because of like the, the leaves. Like right there, will it... Will it fit or not? I don't think so. So just in case, what I like to do is I have like an eight ounce uh, condiment cup right here. That'll give uh, plenty of space for me to pack it. And right there. Now this is how I get ready to actually pack up uh, the ping itself. Let's start off, I generally just kind of start off with like the easier ones first. And I have uh, paper towels right here. So I use paper towels to um, to kind of like line uh, the condiment cups. I spritz it with uh, some water. So just like this, just take a little spray bottle. I'll spritz it just to keep it moist. I don't want it like super wet. I will take one of uh, the pings, just kind of like lay it on top and then Kind of fold it a little bit and I'll fold in and then that's how I pack up the ping. Now I'll put a, like a little layer of another kind of like piece on top because generally what I like to do, oh, it helps if I actually get the lids for this too as well. I forgot about the lids. So then I put the, the lid on top 
do a little shake because I don't want to hear any movement from uh, the container. No movement is great because we know when the package is going through the mail system, it is getting like tumbled all over the place. So that's why I like to make sure there is no movement in the condiment cup. Well, both the condiment cup and when I pack it in the USPS box. Put that in. I usually do it by kind of like ping type. Just kind of pack them all up first. And then what I like to do is I have like the plant tags. Let's take some scotch tape. And then I just put the plant tag on top of the conduit cup lid. Okay, there's three right there. Here's the LRSAA. Mighty Mouse, this is the extra gift for you. Same process, I do pack up pretty much all of my pings. Okay, now we have uh, the two right here. So some of them are kind of like pre-potted up and I, I ship them bare roots. So let me do this. Can't forget the lid for this condiment cup. All right, so we got the Mornensis. Mornensis. Gigantia cyclosecta. So I will just take this. All right, let me just set that down. I will even do the same for like the slightly larger condiment cup. Just get the ping in there. However, since there's more space at the top of the cup, just gotta pat it with some extra paper towels. is gonna go nowhere. And then the last one is this Gigantia Cyclosecta. Now, since I have like uh, the bigger, the eight ounce condiment cup, I actually use just the full sheets. Spritz it. Put the bang on top. Same method, just kind of put it in there. Let the paper towel kind of like fold over itself. And then do something the same. Just take another paper towel, half of it. Shake test, woo! I 
All right. Well, there you have it. That's how I pack up the, your paintings. You got um, four, five, six. Well, five that you ordered. Give you a little extra in there. So great. And now we are going to box this up. It's all about shipping now. So before I print out uh, your shipping label, I always like to make sure first, does your order fit in one of the USPS boxes? Like I've had uh, certain circumstances, like an order yesterday where the ping did not fit in this box. So the containers were too big for this box, like the small seven by seven, kind of like this small UPS box. So I make sure that they fit first and these clearly do which is great. Okay, you've also ordered a 70 tire heat pack. So I'll just bust this open right now. I don't put it in uh, just yet. I kind of wait till I package it first. I do know that this will fit now, which is great. So the next thing I need to do, I'm a, over here on my iPad is, I need to create a shipping label for you. Send it uh, USPS uh, priority uh, mail. I got my uh, label printer uh, right behind here. Let me show you. Let's see. Will I be able to show you? Uh, where is it? It is, here's my uh, label printer right here. Pack and slip. Okay. And then, now I gotta do the shipping label. Here it goes. Oh my God, that was horrible. Let me print it again. Ah, way better. See, that was weird. Look at, look at what that printed out right there. But here's a label. All right, I'm not gonna flash it to you. I'm not gonna show you our address. Okay, that completes kind of my initial process of how I got shipped. Now I gotta actually like pack it up, pack it up. Uh, but first I do write like a little thank you uh, to each of my, uh, my customers who order. So you will get like a little thank you. Let me write a little note first. Wrote a little, uh, little note for you. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's, let's just get on with the bagging. <laughs> all right, final, uh, one of the final steps is packing all these things up. I have I like packing paper right here. I use a packing paper just primarily to secure, one, secure the condiment cups, but then also try to ensure that the, the pings don't move around a whole lot. So with that, I do have uh, a heat pack. I like to just kind of put into the side. Heat pack will fit in there. Packing slip will also fit in here. I got some extra space on the top. Just packing paper, scrunch it up. Put my note on top.
And that is all she wrote. Well, here's your package. I'm gonna put the, the shipping label uh, after this uh, video here, but uh, I'll do it off camera. But here is your package. It is all ready to go. All I do is then drop it off at the post office and you're all set. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed uh, watching uh, me pack up uh, your pings and I am so thankful for you to purchase them uh, from my shop. Uh, thank you. You can also see how messy my office is. I have just like stuff all over the place just because it's just a little nonstop, a little chaotic here in my office, but that's okay. I think that's just part of being a, you know, a small business owner. You're just kind of shuffling around, just trying to make do and just make it happen. So thank you for watching uh, this video. I appreciate it. And if you are also interested in purchasing some of my pings, please go to uh, mypingtopia.com. I will link it in the description too as well. Probably show it right here, like on the, the video somewhere. But that's it. Uh, if you like uh, this, uh, just give me a comment. What do you think about uh, the packing? Is there anything that you think of that maybe I'm not doing how I pack up my pings to be a little bit better? Or hopefully this is probably something similar of how, uh, for those of you that are actually shipping your pings, is this what you do? I'm only doing it because that's just the way I think it should be done. Hopefully I'm protecting it. I've shipped out probably like over uh, 20 or 30 uh, packages over the, like the past like few months. And I've only had like one, uh, one incident, which was more of uh, weather. Um, it was more weather. So it wasn't the way I actually packaged up the ping. That's it. So thank you uh, very much. And until next one. All right. Take care. Have a great day. And bye-bye. All right. Take care. Bye.